particular? How do they match up against you? I mean, the Surge are a really good team. Um, actually, I don't think we've matched up a lot on land over the Dang. last two years uh, with our yeah, same teams. What? But, I mean, stats. you know what to expect out of them. I mean, Pred's going to you know, bring tomorrow. the heat. And oh, shit, he um, fucking... I don't know. They're a good respawn team, and they've been improving in Surge. So we knew it was going to be a hard series, but came out on top. And you guys definitely have improved as a sub duo. If you're looking at the numbers, you have been Dylan's dropping like 30 out. bombs on the regular. Envoy, what's working in your game in particular? Well, I think hardpoint has always been like Work my out. like worst mode, so <laughs> it's it's been pretty nice to see that it's improving. But I think the You're big right. thing is that when me and Ken are on point and like our chemistry is flowing, it's it just makes the game really hard on other teams. And I think unlike other sub duos, I think me and Ken really interchange oh, yeah. of like you know who's the fast guy or who's the slow guy in certain situations, and both know our role role pretty well. Uh, Dylan, I was looking at some of the numbers when it comes to that control, that game number three. It seems when it comes to you guys in that game number three, it's either you're smoking teams 3-0 or you're getting smoked 0-3, except when it comes to LSC low. Now, that's typically the control you guys don't prefer to play, but you do always push it to that round number five. What do you find your struggle is having to go to that round number five and maybe why you can't close it out all the time? Well, in that Asilo specifically, we just gave up B, which is obviously the easier point to hold on defense. Um, so they were doing a really good job of capping that. And I think that's just our main problem comes down to when we get a three dead, you know, it looks really good on the map. But, uh, you know, if you have Pred or Mac um, or anyone in your bottom mid just making plays and being a rat, it's, it's definitely hard to clear them. And like you've seen in the last round, Pred made a play while he's last, last alive after we cruised and it just spiraled the round out. So um, I'm really confident in our control, but we still need to work on uh, a lot of things on the CELA. Uh, I have two questions for you. The first one being, <clears throat> excuse me, you guys got rid of hotel control in this series. Were you hoping that they picked Expo? Is that a map yeah, y'all are comfortable yeah. on? Hey. Hey, we might have that Berlin effect from last year when it came in. But, uh, <laughs> Time to shave that shit. Um, yeah, Let's I mean, we just Hector, know that was the last on, match, uh, man hotel and we're pretty strong on all of them so i, th I think it was a smart play from us uh the follow-up to this is you have been fucking... absolutely frying lately it seems like you're way more free track. on the map uh what have you done individually because it seems like you've just taken a leap forward i think we've just been really focusing on our game plan which is definitely just getting everyone on the same page and allowing all of us when we have our moments to push sure. out and uh, get all those kills so um just gonna keep working on the game plan and hopefully you know there's more good things to come Last question I have for you is, what does Envoy do on Sundays when not competing in the CDL? <laughs> Just relax, man. I mean, we have long days, uh, long you weeks. Do. I don't really have to stream on much often, so uh, <laughs> just hanging out with a girlfriend, um, my cats, and then, you know, watching CDL. We'll let you put in that family time. Thanks for joining us here on the show. Juan boy. That is a Juan boy, boy yeah. ladies and gentlemen. That's a great man. Right there.